The two rabbis who drowned at Hollover Beach yesterday were both buried today near their homes in New York. CBS 4's Rick Fulbaum is here with more on how those rabbis are being remembered. Rick? Elliot, the Hasidic community is in shock over the sudden loss of these two men. They were spiritual leaders, they were business leaders who came to South Florida for a little downtime and who left tragically in coffins. One casket arriving just before 10 this morning. As is tradition for the ultra Orthodox, the men and women praying and mourning not side by side, but apart. They're separated, but united in their grief over the loss of Rabbi Isaac Rosenberg. Pure paralysis, that's the word. We just all sat down. I literally went into bed for like a few hours. We were like, it was such a shock. We didn't believe it. The community dealing with the death of Rosenberg and also Rabbi Chaim Parnas, whose funeral was also this morning in Orange County, New York, about an hour or so north of Manhattan. Both men were swimming in Hallover Beach Tuesday when they got caught in a rip current and drowned. Community Chaim Heller saw Rosenberg right before he county. went to the water and still can't believe he's gone. His charity, that his heart, his warm heart and the charity that he gave for people to help does it make a difference what and who. He was a very, very kind man. He didn't know the word no. He always said, I'll help you. Both men, not only religious leaders, but wealthy businessmen who found ways to give back. It's a loss for the community, two big people like that in one day in such a tragedy. Word of the drowning spread on social media quicker than next of kin could be notified. The daughter of one of the victims says she was at work when her phone started buzzing with messages about the drownings. So sadly, she had to learn of her father's death through the popular messaging platform WhatsApp. Rick Fulbaum, CBS 4 News. Elliot. Rick, thank you.